Quick shout out to my boy Carlos Santana. Apparently I'm taller in person. So you got a, you got an animal from where'd you get this animal? Ball life. Oh, we can't show that on. Here. <laughs> 24 pictures a second right now. Oh, God. It's video. Are you video? Oh, it's video. It's video. Okay. <laughs> we can take I all the to take some photos. We, yeah, we can take all the. Top of the morning, friends and family. Welcome to filming Friday. <laughs> I had wanted to do a feature on vendors at the show and I was stuck in my booth so much that I didn't actually have time to go around anywhere but my booth and I've got so many interviews, there's gonna be really good ones coming up on Triple B TV. Make sure you subscribe to Triple B TV so that you can see all the awesome interviews that I did do at the show. I did get to go to one vendor's booth. It was the biggest booth from the vendor that came from the furthest away, I think. Uh, some guys from China, a company from China. I'm excited to show you guys them too. But before we get in and check out all the awesome animals people picked up, check out this clip of Harrison and I from Royal Canvas Exotics racing in the parking lot. You guys are fing quick as fing. <laughs> that was a tie. That was a tie. Yeah, Triple B and Raw Canvas. Yeah. Harrison, you're a fast dude, but I want a rematch. Tiebreaker. All right, let's check out those animals. What's your name, sis? Veronica. Veronica. Yeah, I'm a yeah, sister. What did you get? The Lichianish gecko. All right, little guy. I have, I have never seen such oh, a tiny little go. baby. Oh, now he's gonna back up. We're gonna get to see his whole self. Come on, little guy. You can come out of there. Come on. There you go. Yes. So Dave brought a hot dog. Picked it up right here at the show. <laughs> I'm not weird. So these guys picked up a banana spider. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about it because she's talking, she's busy. She's busy. She's got busy, busy life. It's a busy life. You gotta keep networking, networking, staying with people, but also picking up awesome banana spider ball pythons at this show. I'm not weird. I'm not weird. I'm not weird. Were you really recording? Oh, of course. Dude, of course I'm recording. Check out what Scott got. If you guys don't remember Scott, I'm gonna put a link right here for his Triple B TV interview, Mr. Scott Bolter. <laughs> but look what, look at this, look what this guy brought, man. For around. my new coffee addiction, look at this. It's a person, Reptile Super Show with the dates. Custom Triple B. Keeps ice, it's for cold and warm. Thanks, Scott. No problem. <laughs> Appreciate it, bro. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> he hooked me up, man. He hooked me up with a ghost, uh, ghost stripe. I'm trying to pair it off to uh, my butter stripe that I just got. But he hooked me up big time, man. Big time. Big shout out. Thank you. Thank you so much. You tell Jimmy he hooked me up with a sweatshirt. He, no, he even good. gave me a shirt for free, man. I was about to put it on, but I had it thrown over the car seat and stuff. So it was pretty cool. I'll be seeing you, Jimmy. He's what? A good, what is this? Is this a... Uh, uh, this is the hybrid, right? No. No, it's not a hybrid? Pure Cuban. Pure Cuban? Yeah. It looks a little bit like it has, uh, anyway, what am I not thinking? The, the blue one, the... Yeah. Yeah. The... Caymanensis. Yeah. I almost said, like, Galap... I almost said Galapagos. Beautiful. I'm so dumb. Okay. I didn't... When I saw it go by, I thought it was a Cuban. Friend. I got him from a friend. Awesome. Now he might. This is my boy. Really pretty. How's the show going for you, mister? Ah, uh, pretty good. Everything's going great. I love you, bro. I really do, man. We can tell. The bromance here is strong. Oh, baby. Oh. <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Please don't. No. <laughs> oh, trust me. He's I, can, not... I can only deal with one gay in my life, and it's my brother. <laughs> one, one gay. Don't get that. <laughs> Cut that off. That's politically incorrect. <laughs> well, like half my friends I'm really gay. offended okay. with that. <laughs> no. No, a lot of my friends are gay, and it's just like... I used to be what? a little bit phobic of it. 
But when I did, when did everyone get so clingy? I just, yeah. I'm just, I'm just gonna focus on the animal. <laughs> yeah, because he's big and old and slazy and gigantic and breaking my arm. You fine. There you go, bud. Don't be afraid. I got you. We're not going anywhere. This is a really cool lizard. This is like dinosaur status. Can we always get some ice cream? I don't know if he eats ice cream. Does he eat ice cream, Sherry? I, no. No? No ice cream? I, no. Mean, I, I mean, I might give him some, some of the, uh, the pistachio, but no. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. I, I think it, what do you guys think, think of that? You like that? It's soft. All the snakes like it, too. <laughs> you guys want to try to eat it. <laughs> Are you are you a snake at heart? Is that what your dad just told me? You're a snake at heart. Is that true? What you got? A pied. A pied? Yeah, you just got him today. Uh -huh. Brand new snake. Is this your first pied? We got a crested. We have yeah. a crested. We're gonna get a crested gecko today. Oh, nice! A crested gecko too. That's awesome, man. I'm glad you guys got your new snake. Thank you guys for coming to the show. It's good to see you guys. And thank you for watching the channel. Appreciate it. I'll say hi to Noah and Eli for you guys, and little Missy Moon too. What did you pick up, Mr. Fowler? So I needed one of these for my shows. Okay. All right. And uh, need. need need. Michelle, I love you. She told me not to get anything. Mmm. So this is a bad, bad man. This Michelle. is our little baby bird. You got a name already? Not yet. I need one, so have your people. Uh, I'll think of a name. I'll have my people think of a name, and I'll have my people contact your people. Excellent. Excellent. So th this animal is going to be a show animal. It's going to be in front of literally thousands of people a month. So looking forward to it. You're going to have a good time. You're going to be famous. Famous Amos. That's his name. Famous Amos. Famous Amos. <laughs> Sorry, of course, you guys go and Mr. Nick Lombero here. He's been semi-helpful at my booth today. Useless. Basically. But he did pick up an animal here at the show, so I figured we might as well show it. So I've got a pastel and she pied. Female. You sure it's a female? Yeah. <laughs> so he got a second snake, which true to the Levera fashion, he took forever to pull out. Uh... And it's a clown female. Is that all anybody cares about anymore is clown ball pythons? Well, clowns are the coolest. That's what Brian said. Sure they are. So I'm, I'm here at the Reptizoo booth. And this is a booth that is coming all the way from China. Might be the largest booth from the furthest away at the show today. Um, company that's out of China, of course. We are the number one brand in China. You know, in this year, the reptile market is growing, growing very fast in China. Every year, it's double. So we are working with lots of fans to cooperate, cooperate with lots of fans, reptile fans from uh, Europe and uh, other countries. They've got this cool misting setup where you can actually mist two terrariums at the same time, have one on a timer, adjust the flow, adjust the amount of time that it goes for, and basically have everything automated, looks like, and be able to go to two different terrariums with one unit. So that's, that's something new. I've never seen something like that quite before. I imagine they're more like the uh, Zoomed or the Exoterra of China. They're looking to possibly have me come over there and film the industry in China and where it's going because right now there's there's an industry in China per se or, or not so much. I'm not familiar with it 100%. So I'd be able to come over there and check it out and see what it's all about there because there's a potential huge industry in China, of course. But maybe the laws have not caught up with the possibilities of what's going to be happening there. I, I want to learn more about it. There's been an opportunity for me to go over there and check it out and I think that you guys would really like to see uh, what it is that's going on in China. I know I really like to see what's going on in China. Just see a completely different side of, of the world and the way keeping is over there and how it's looked at. I've, again, I've got zero idea of, like where or what <laughs> it's, it's going to be. But In the future, maybe, Brian, you come to China. These guys are here to get exposure and learn a little bit about uh, what we got going on in our market and what it looks like, uh, what our hobby is on this side of the world. So I'd like to return the favor and do the same and go over there and check it out for us too. Reptizoo. You want to be in the show? Yeah. Eli wants to be in the show? What's up my guy? Hey. He wants to be at the show. Oh he wants to be at the show. Well this is, Eli I've got you as at the show as I can get you buddy you're here. 
you're at the show, man. There you are, Eli at the show. And the moon too. <laughs> I promise the kids will be back for some what do you know in the next coming videos. And speaking of the next video, I didn't realize how much footage I had still from the show. So I'm gonna show the animals I got at the show as well as animals people got from me in the next video. I promise. But before we get out of here, check out uh, this little impromptu inebriated interview with Mr. Forrest Fanning. This guy talks absolutely more crap about everybody than anybody I've ever met in my entire Forrest, for, life, sure. Life, for sure. Oh my god. Oh, that was a pretty good shot. That was but, a really and, good And it's shot. hilarious. The thing that's so funny about it is that everything is true. Everything he says is true. So it's like hilarious. Everything he says is true. Yeah. It makes it that much funnier. But I feel like there's no higher level of disdain than like for the person that just like has a ton of money and just gets way into the ball python morphs. I mean, would you say that's accurate? That's like the person that you... Yeah, I yeah, mean, I, I, Wait, that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. I often wonder like what he says about me when I'm not there. Oh, yes. Like, uh, yeah. That I, I got for sure. Like, what have I said about no, Cusco? No, I said a lot. Like what? No, I said... <laughs> but, but it's for that reason. It's, and you're, you're like, your dedication and your enthusiasm and passion about conservation and the hobby like, I know I'm looking at the camera, but I'm talking about forest. The, the conservation, like your, your passion, your dedication, like how real everything you say is, like that's why, that's why I want to recommend you to speak at the thing that, that Philippe is putting on, because I think okay. it's gonna be like No, I'd be rad, thing. dude, I'm all about that. Yeah, I love I, conservation, I, I, I think and, uh, and I also love ball pythons and what you guys are doing with them. I just, you know, I'm look at my shirt, man. Look at my shirt. That is a bad He's shirt. representing. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I lay my clothes what, out. What about, what about this shirt over here? Yeah. No, no. What about that shirt right there? Yeah. It's literally been the always evolving bar all night. Like, <laughs> I just opened up a new bar. He got everyone's tab. Whoa. Right? I got a baby, bro. I can't afford a tab. That's it, guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. See you in the next one. <laughs>